Hey everyone, Justice Good here with another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Windows Vista inspired background. I think the results are always very clean and nice looking. So, the first thing you want to do is open a new document. Now, if you don't know the resolution of your screen, mine is 1920 by 1200, just Google what is my screen resolution and you should find it. Now, of course, I can't work at 100% because that would fill up my whole screen. So I'm going to go over here and work at 75%. The first step is an easy step. Head over to Layer, New Fill Layer, Gradient, and select OK. Here you have the option to change the gradient and many other things. Drop down that menu and drop down that menu and select Simple Gradients. Pick the first one that goes white to blue, and then click on the actual bar and you will bring up a menu that allows you to edit the gradient. Double click on the white section of this, and we're going to move it over to more of a light blue. You can use any shade that you want until you find one that you think is a nice transition. I'm going to use something about right here and if you want to use these exact colors the color code for that is 43B3E2 that you can just type in there and leave the other one as is under the style selection choose radial and under the scale let's select 150 you don't want to raise it too much because then it creates too much banding and loss of quality now we can begin creating our highlights. So on a new layer, you want to change your foreground color to a very dark gray, a medium dark gray, I should say. I'm going to use this color code here, 444444. And select your elliptical marquee tool. Now go up to the top left corner of your document and while holding shift and option so that it keeps proportions drag all the way down and to the right until you grab a portion of the screen similar to this now with your paintbrush tool select a soft brush and increase the size to about 400 pixels remember hardness at zero don't actually brush inside of the line but just brush a little bit outside so that the softness of the brush will leave an impression and if you want to deselect you can use command D or right click deselect I'm going to use the shortcut command D now make sure you send the blending mode of that layer to color dodge now I'm going to hit command J to duplicate that layer that we just made and then command T or edit transform and while holding shift I'm going to rotate it one and move it up so that they intersect. You want to make sure that the line goes all the way from the left edge of the screen to the top edge of the screen. You want it cutting off randomly. So that is a start, but on a new layer, let's grab our rectangular marquee this time and make a selection about halfway down the screen with the same brush, same color go down and make a similar soft edge. This is the technique we're going to be using throughout the whole video and just layering it until we get a desired effect. So now go to edit transform because we're, want, we're going to make this line um, wave from the top left to the bottom right. Now you don't want to just grab the bottom point and drag it all the way up because then it'll flip the image on itself. You want to move all sections of the line up one at a time slowly and on the right corner of this grid you want to move it down to the bottom so adjust it into something like that and set it to color dodge now hit command J to duplicate this layer grab your move tool and move it down about six or seven pixels if you hold shift and hit the down arrow key you can move it in larger increments. Once you get something like that, lower the opacity of that layer to 
Now we can continue on the bottom right corner with the elliptical marquee tool. Let's do the same technique. Brushing in, edit, edit, undo if you go too far, and color dodge. Remember to keep working on new layers. Now on this circle band we are going to edit warp and drag each corner across the edge. You want to keep the line coming all the way down until it hits the edge. You want to bring it up so that you can see it. And once you get a wavy type of effect like that, I want you to duplicate it with Command J, rotate it just like before, and position it a little bit to the right and higher so that it intersects like so. Continuing on, we're going to use a new layer and we're going to grab the top right corner this time. We don't want to do every single corner because that ruins the balance, but you want to get a nice balance. That's something I can't really teach you, but you can follow this. Again, same technique, color dodge. Don't worry about evenly brushing too much or getting the perfect brush just make sure it's just faded. And now edit transform rotate once you duplicate that layer and this one will move to the bottom right and just drag it down. So to add a final line we're gonna make one that cuts through the middle. Grab your rectangular marquee Go all the way down like so, and again, let the edge of your soft brush fill in some of that gray. Let's warp this one a little bit, to give it a little bit of a wave, just, just kind of a up, down, up wave. Manipulate this grid until you get something you like. That looks about good. Let's set that to color dodge. and adjust the position of it to somewhere near the middle lower the opacity a bit to about 30 percent and I think I'm gonna stop here you can continue or readjust the colors and layers of your image at this point but I like this image right here so remember to file save as I'm gonna save it as a JPEG and a PSD and let's see how it looks set desktop picture and there you go a really clean simple Windows Vista inspired background if you like this tutorial please check out my channel for more and please subscribe for future tutorials thank you